identical, weight is identical. Rob has a one inch uh, height advantage, three inch reach advantage. Like you mentioned, Rob, Rob, go, Rob goes to Lausanne, teammate of yours. Excited for him to make his pro debut, but I'm also excited for Jake Vakanowski to be back in the cage. To Andy for the announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the next fight of the evening, a professional mixed martial arts contest taking place at the lightweight division, scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. And ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, for this is the co-main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, standing at six feet tall, and weighing in at 156 pounds, from Lynn, Massachusetts, he's representing Hard Knocks Muay Thai and Lowe's on MMA and makes some noise for tonight. He makes his professional mixed martial arts debut. Let's hear it for Robert Ovalle. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of three victories and three defeats. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. From Northborough, Massachusetts, he's representing Gorilla Martial Arts. Let's hear it for Jay Bakanowski. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this co-main event matchup is Chris Burke. All right, Jay's in the blue corner with the black army trunks. And uh, Rob is in the red corner with the white ones. Highly engaging matchup here. Two high-level competitors. I'm excited for this one. Falkonowski in on a single early. Getting that takedown, Ovalle on a guillotine, but he's on the wrong side. Ovalle with an underhook, cross body. Let's see if he uses that to get up. Heavy top pressure from Bakanowski. Good control on top. Rob making his way to the cage to try to get back up to his feet. Let's see if he starts the wall walk. Jay was trying to pass it, looked like, and uh Jay Rob needs to stay that. higher than Rob to keep him in this position here. He's doing a good job. Trying to find a posture here. Yep. Rob with those underhooks trying to make his way up. Jay looking to snatch up the neck. Nice ground and pound from top there by Jay. Rob with an underhook on the left side. Traditional jujitsu uh, in half guard, it, a lot of times it is the battle of the underhooks, but not necessarily in MMA. Ovalle trying to get back up to his feet. Bakanowski relentless, getting his hands clasped together with a big slam coming. There he lands another takedown. Exhausting to get back up from that position just to get put right back down. Rob doing a good job keeping the posture low, not allowing him to land any heavy shots. Oh, looks like he's going for that arm bar. He's got a good bite on it, but Bakanowski wise to it. Yeah, good job using the cage to not allow him to get that leg over. Job uh, keeping him stacked when he feels those those legs coming up for the armbar. Mm. Stacked against the cage there. Nice scramble created by Ovalle, but Jay just showing his wrestling pedigree. Hooking that leg, keeping the pressure hep um, keeping the pressure heavy on the back. Great job staying heavy. 
high up with those grips, but he's doing a really good job distributing that weight with his hips. Back to his feet is Ovalle. Rob needs to use the cage to break that grip. Yeah, Rob's fighting the hands. Nice elbow. Spinning back elbow. Jay's right back on it with a body lock. Now he's got to dig for an underhook if he wants to reverse this. Back and now ski. Just relentless here. Relentless with the takedowns. Rob doing a good job using the cage to defend that one. Breaking foot in stomps. some foot stomps. Those will surprise you. Another high amplitude takedown for Jay Bakanowski, but some elbows from the back from Ovalle. Yeah, nice elbows from bottom. A nice step over to Mount. Jay doing a good job passing. But again, Rob controlling posture. Shrimping out, not allowing, uh, oh, looks like he's getting over. Quarter guard. Back to half guard. This is a dominant position though in MMA. Yeah. A lot of people would prefer to stay here rather than pass him. Yeah, and top half when, when punches are involved, like you said. Definitely different than traditional grappling. Good control on top. Rob doing a good job avoiding too much damage. Back to full guard. guard. Rob with an arm bar. Reversal, and that's a deep attempt. Deep arm bar. Looks like he lost it. Yep, Bakanowski squirmed out of it expertly. Now going for an going attack of his own with that leg. Give Rob defended position, well, getting his knee down, and now he's throwing some punches of his own. Yep, right as Bakanowski went for that leg attempt. Ovalle landed a really devastating elbow and another punch to follow it up. Short so. time on the clock, but Ovalle trying to get some shots of his own. And Tremendous round one. A lot of momentum shifts there. The wrestling game of Jay Bakanowski on full display, scoring some big takedowns, chipping away with ground and pound. But Ovalle finding his moments later in the round to score a reversal off an armbar attempt and get some good ground and pound off of his own. That armbar was deep. Good job on Jay scrambling to get out of that one. Rolling for a leg of his own, but giving up that top position for the last 20 seconds. Yeah. Jay dominant on top, and those takedowns are just relentless, non-stop. Kept attempting on the cage, and uh, finally was able to get him down at the end with that trip. Rob, though, doing a really good job avoiding taking too much damage on bottom. I'd like to see Rob come out in the second and just establish a jab to try to keep Jay mm. at range where he can't he can't shoot in for a takedown as easily. I would say this is more of a grappler's cage with the size of it. Yep. Mm. It's very easy to you know get somebody against the. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's in the advantage of the wrestler. No doubt. It's a Twenty foot cage. Not as much room to work and maneuver and dance around and set your footwork and play and and sprawl. You run into a, a barrier pretty quick here, and that's just a different game all of itself. Nice, a uh, little bit of a mouse under Jay's left eye there. Yep. Probably from one of those elbows. Spinning that. elbow, I think it was. Yeah. Rob will surprise you with those spinning attacks. Bakanowski trying to throw some hands. Nice hook. Nice kick. That was really fast. Right back in on, on the cage, but Rob reverses position. Yeah. Now Rob working a takedown of his own. Going for the switch. Right in front of Bakanowski's corner with John Doomsday Howard and Loco Lobo in the corner. Pushing his face, good nice elbow. elbow. On the break. That's that Muay Thai experience. It's that hard enough. Oh, nice left hand from Bakanowski. Wobbles Ovalle and a right hook to follow. Looks like uh, Jay might have been cut open with one of those elbows. Very well could have, but he landed a devastating punch to uh, Ovalle in that exchange. Without Ovalle recovering quick though. Yeah, turning the tables, trying to get the takedown, clearing the cobwebs. That, that shot was a stinger, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Hands are clasped. Really good, deep attempt. 
Bakanowski tried going for some switch there, but no, the two is scored by Ovalle this time around. Working his way back up on the cage. Ovalle needs to stay above him as he is. Keep that head above. This is where Ovalle can be dangerous with those elbows, with, the, with that little like dirty boxing short clinch game. He's got some great elbows. Doesn't matter what range they're thrown at, they hurt like, uh, I'm not gonna go there, but. Looks like the elbows are paying off with the cuts. Bakanowski really dulls you with that oval hook, doesn't want to eat any more of those. And there's one for his trouble. Another short punch from Ovalle on top. Bakanowski trying to fire off some ground and pound from the back. Two minutes and 40 seconds to work here in round two. Good posture from Ovai to get off some shots. Bekanowski really wearing it. He's placing his hips with that left, that left foot there. I'd like to see Bekanowski try to work to his feet. Looks like he's going to a, for that heel hook. Ooh, ooh, that was a deep bite, but good spin out from Ovalle to get out of that submission. Good scramble back and forth. Ovalle going for that Kimura. Jay in on the single. Going for those elbows. Has the far foot on the single. Maybe looking what? to cut it to a double. Back to the Kimura. To work his way back up. Doesn't quite have that angle for that Kimura there. Yep. Bakanowski finding himself in a top half guard position. Again, with a good minute work from bottom for Ovaya. Over a minute to work. Going for that deep half as Ovaya eating a couple hammer fists for his troubles. Now he's going for a leg attack of his own. Yep. Good Look. escape from Bakanowski as they both land on the get up. They both landed against each other. Both of them seem like the legs wobbled <laughs> there. <laughs> going for that Kimura again. A firefight between two guys who have been dying to get back into this cage. And man, what a show are they putting on with one minute left to go in this second round. Avai really using those elbows to his advantage. Beautiful ankle pick to run the feet and finish that takedown, but Ovai is sprawling back out. Bakanowski is relentless with the takedowns here. He's eating a lot of damage for it, though. Both men back up to their feet. Vai threatening with the guillotine. Bakanowski seems savvy to it. It's like Rub's glove, the tape is coming off again. Just about to mention that. Hunting for the arm. Oh. Nice little elbows to that lat. Oh, it's the wraps underneath the glove yep. on both sides. through two. Highly competitive matchup. A lot of momentum shifts. Ovalle doing some work with the ground and pound. But Bakanowski certainly get the hands off in that round. Both guys wobbling each other. Both guys scoring ground and pound and top pressure. This is what we do this for. High level MMA at the professional ranks around these parts. Constant, constant takedown pressure. You know, this Very fight's not disappointing. No. Five years off in a pro debut and they're both showing out. Highly, highly uh, deserved is that co-main spot. Definitely. Five minutes or less to go in this co-main event fight. Bakanowski wearing 
of the ground and pound, Robo Valle. Has blood all over his shorts. Oh, they both exchanging hands here. Oh! Jared Bakanowski lands a left hook from Hal. Staggers Ovalle, who hits the canvas. And the follow-up ground and pound shots. A little protest from Rob Ovalle on the stoppage, but slow to get up. Chris Burke gave him a chance or two to recover. But that was another left hand bomb landed from Jay Bakanowski, this time able to finish it off with the ground and pound. Climbing to four and three in his pro career. What a left. Wow, straight punch timed off that kick and a big TKO finisher of Jay Bakanowski. Five years on the bench, coming back in dynamic fashion. It's a hell of a way to come back. Yeah, and even though Ovalle making his pro debut a seasoned amateur in his own right, you know, he was shaking off some ring rust in the MMA cage, but he still put on a great performance in his pro debut. Just got caught by a devastating shot late. But Bakanowski, man, keeping that power through three rounds, just when you Impressive. think he's staying married to that wrestling game, gets... So he tore his hamstring on that first takedown, but was still able to tough it out and get the finish in the third round. Tremendous job. Tore his hamstring on that first takedown. Wow. And still be able to put on that performance is Ooh. incredible. Adrenaline's a hell of a thing. Yeah, it's a hell of a drug, right? <laughs> is up and on the stool. Seems to be talking to Joe. He's okay. Always tough to see a teammate lose. I'm glad to see he's okay, though. Yeah. Talk about the toughness, though, of Akinowski. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two co-main eventers. <laughs> Referee Chris Burke has called a stop to this contest at 16 seconds of round number three, giving you your winner by TKO, Jay Bakanowski.